Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Okay, this is the Leadership Library Podcast, and I am your host, Rocky Romanella. We, our series has been on this topic, are you creating a micro-toxic work environment? We've talked about emails. We've talked about, are you, you, you know, your, your problems becoming your people problem, people's problems. We talked about micromanaging. We talk about respecting their time. Tonight, we're going to talk about the last one, which is, is bad behavior silently being sanctioned inside your organization? Are you the individual who silently sanctions bad behavior? For me, that is a very serious situation. As leaders, we're never allowed to silently sanction bad behavior. For example, if we see a safety issue that needs to be addressed and we don't address it, we now said it's okay for that safe, you know, unsafe act to happen. For me, when a superior doesn't fix a problem that's been brought to their attention numerous times, it looks as if they are silently sanctioning bad behavior and saying that that behavior is okay. A leader has a responsibility to address issues as they see them or hear them. This is one of the biggest reasons that many leaders do not manage by walking around. Most people don't leave their office. You know why? Because there's no problems in their office. What's the biggest problem you have in your office? Oh, the pictures may be crooked, or maybe it's time for me to change my books around, or maybe, you know, I got so many diplomas, maybe I need to hang another diploma. No, no, there's no problems in that office. The problems are out there among your people. The problems are on the shop floor. The problems are out there in the office, and you need to get out there because when you don't get out there, you're silently sanctioning bad behavior that's happening. When you don't listen to those individuals that you trust that bring you problems, you are now part of the problem. You're no longer part of the solution. You are the problem because I brought to your attention this issue. And therefore, as an employee, I know that you don't care. So I'm not staying in that environment. Look, we've talked about this many times where I've said this to you. I worked for UPS for 36 years. I didn't stay at UPS because I didn't agree with everything that happened at UPS. I didn't leave because I didn't disagree with anything enough to leave. That means I, I felt valued. That means my values and my ethics, I felt like they were never challenged. I felt like if I worked hard, I did the right things, I treated people with dignity and respect, and they treated me with dignity and respect, it would be a good place to work. It doesn't mean that every decision I agreed with, it just meant that I didn't disagree enough to leave. When your people leave, that means they disagreed enough with you to leave. They didn't feel valued, their values and their ethics. You know, if you go to a meeting and you meet peers from around the country for the first time and after a few hours, right, you say to yourself, I feel like I've known these people my whole life. It's because you fit, because you're valued. You have the same values. You feel like you belong. It's like when you bring your kids to college and they're walking around a campus and you can tell right away they don't feel like they fit here. Or they walk around that school and the light bulb goes off and they feel like they fit. Do the people inside your organization feel valued and do they feel like they fit inside your organization from your vision, your strategy, your values, and your ethics? And do they look at you as that person who does not, will never silently sanction bad behavior, will step up when it's time to address an issue that needs to be addressed? So for me, silently sanctioning bad behavior is one of the most um, dangerous things that you do to your people and to your organization. And it really, really just, you know, kind of just breaks the fabric of an organization and, and people just don't feel valued. They can't stay in that scenario. It's time for them to leave. And so that's when you have to look in the mirror and you have to ask yourself that question. Am I silently sanctioning bad behavior? That's why to wrap up, Remember the question I always say, we have to ask ourselves, who am I, what do I stand for, and what are the things I won't compromise? Well, one of the things you should never compromise is you, you're not allowed to silently sanction bad behavior. You will never sanction bad behavior, loudly or silently. Be safe, everybody. Thanks for being a member of the uh, Leadership Library podcast. Once again, please visit us at www.tightenthelugnuts.com. Thanks for listening, and I hope 
you've enjoyed our episodes.